एम पी डी एस मायोफेशियल पेन डिसफंक्शन सिंड्रोम as the name suggest it's a syndrome that is it has got more than one manifestations which might include uh, the pain and dysfunction in the muscles of the head and neck region so let us learn in detail about mpds today we would talk about what exactly mpds means then the etiopathogenesis the clinical features then the diagnostic criteria or how to identify a patient with mpds then various treatment options and treatment approaches to treat mpds then we would finally conclude what does mpds means mpds it's a pain disorder basically it's a unilateral it's a the specific or the unique thing about mpds is it's usually a unilateral pain which is dull dull aching constant pain which is referred from something called as a trigger zone what does this trigger zone means trigger zones are a few areas or few spots within the the bands of the skeletal or the masticatory muscles within the head and neck region usually whenever these trigger zones or usually palpated or whenever these are stimulated for example if you can see in the picture whenever these are stimulated this gets referred this pain in the trigger zone gets referred to some other muscle in the distant area or the cervical muscles usually this point is called as a zone of reference so the characteristic feature of mpds is the presence of trigger zones as well as the zones of references now let us look into the details of what causes mpds there are three main reasons the firstly it is the central or the psychogenic causes that means something related to your mental illness or stress or anxiety the second is related to the peripheral or your occlusal reasons the third is the presence of any intrinsic joint pathologies let us now see what are the central causes whenever there is a stress or whenever there is an anxiety or any other mental illnesses there are lot of changes in the occlusal habits or the chewing patterns they have lot of stress relieving habits like lip smacking tang trusting habits bruxism all these will usually lead to a alteration or they lead to a micro or macro trauma within the masticatory muscles causing mpds also the sleep disturbances will have a major effect on the masticatory muscles and and the joint the temporomandibular joint as well the coming to the peripheral causes the peripheral causes usually will include our occlusion usually the presence of high points or the premature contacts or improper or a mal occlusion especially class 2s div 2 div 1 wherein uh, there is a constant deep bite there is a constant pressure which is usually uh, posed on the masticatory muscles also onto the joint causing the disturbances in the chewing pattern and causing the myo facial pain dysfunction syndrome this is the chart shown the same there is whenever there is an occlusal harmony there is always a a uh, muscle fatigue which will lead to a changes in the altered chewing pattern causing a mpds coming to the symptoms of mpds you have a cardinal symptoms that is most of the times the patients will have any of the one of the four cardinal signs or the symptoms of mpds also along with the cardinal signs the patient usually will manifest one or two associated symptoms the cardinal signs usually include something related to your head and neck regions that is the first thing obviously the pain or discomfort or the tenderness along the anywhere within the muscles or anywhere in the head and neck region the second usually would include the restricted mouth opening or inability to open the mouth fully this is another manifestation of uh, the cardinal manifestation of mpds the patient will not be able to open the mouth fully or the experience tenderness while opening also the third one is the presence of joint noises when you palpate and auscultate the tmj you would find the joint noises then finally the tenderness upon palpation of the masticatory muscles these four are the cardinal symptoms of mpds the next includes the associated symptoms which are not related to the head and neck region but still the patient will have any of these 
the first one is the neurological manifestations which will include tingling numbness blurred vision twitches and the lacrimation they might also have a gi symptoms or the gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea vomiting diarrhea constipation in digestion or anything and then the skeletal musculoskeletal system uh, the manifestations would include the fatigue weakness or tiredness and then uh, the tension in the muscles the otological symptoms usually would include the ear pain tinnitus dizziness vertigo diminished uh, uh, movements of the hearing might be impaired it is very important to examine a patient with mpds proper examination will give a, a way to the diagnosis of mpds firstly check for the joint mobility palpate uh, the joint temporomandibular joint palpate your masticatory muscles of mastication then all the if there is any tender points then also here it is very important to palpate the cervical muscles yes sternocleidomastoid trapezius occipitalis all these muscles are also have to be palpated coming to the treatment options of mpds once you have given a diagnosis of mpds we have uh, the treatment which would range from a conservative management to a surgical options depending on the type of uh, the etiology the conservative management first would usually start with the pharmacological means that means you give medication or the pharmacological uh, means to reduce or to alleviate the stress anxiety and pain if there is any muscle muscle fatigue we usually give a muscle relaxants analgesics anti anxiety drugs are the most commonly used pharmacological means the surgical management of mpds usually includes something called as a rule of 7 or 7 hours we usually follow if there is any that means if there is any supra erupted teeth which is causing occlusal disturbance you have to remove reshape if there is a premature contact reposition using a orthodontic treatments restore and replace the missing teeth reconstruct the joint and regulate if there is any problem with the habits so regulate the habits the other modalities or methods for the treatment of mpds will include emg studies study the muscles and then see what muscle is exactly a problem then give some occlusal soft splints or bite splints night guards to uh, to discontinue the habit of bruxism acupuncture and all out of all this stress management is the most important uh, ask the patient uh, or uh, reassure the patient that this problem would usually come down in a time after all stress causes all the problems in the masticatory muscles so educate the patient about having some stress relief practice him to follow some yoga exercises good sleep because all these would usually have a very good positive effect in treating the mpds